Erased is a 12-episode mystery thriller anime by A1 Pictures that originally aired in 2016. The story is about a 29-year-old man named Satoru with the power to rewind time. He cannot control this ability, but it automatically activates when he's in a position to prevent some sort of tragedy. It's usually only several minutes at most, but this time he finds himself transported back 18 years where he, once again a boy on the cusp of his 11th birthday, must prevent the deaths of several of his classmates at the hands of a mysterious assailant, starting with a young girl named Kayo. Erased is an adaptation of the identically titled manga series by Kei Sanbei. Both the manga and the anime have been well received by audiences, though the series does have a few detractors. But should you watch it? Let's find out, shall we? And just to get this out of the way, as I have not personally read the manga, I will be judging the Erased anime not as an adaptation, but as a standalone product. And if you find yourself enjoying the video, please consider liking and subscribing because it actually helps. Or if you're feeling generous, Patreon pledges and super thanks tips are always appreciated. After watching Erased twice over, once on my own and once with a friend, there are five things that really stick in my mind as things I want to talk about, and this video will be structured around those topics. They are the following. The visuals, the bait and switch, the mystery, the experience, and the pacing. This video will contain no spoilers, but feel free to skip around to whatever sections interest you via the video chapters or the timestamps in the description. The visuals. Alright, let's just get this out of the way. I think Erased is fucking gorgeous. It's not a super flashy piece of animation, but you can tell that a lot of care went into how this anime looks. In particular, I absolutely love the lighting and the striking color palettes that give each scene a unique visual identity and amplify whatever theme, emotion, or message that that scene in particular is trying to convey. Additionally, this is one of the better instances I've seen of subtle CGI animation. I know that CGI gets a lot of flack in weeb circles, but I don't think the problem has ever been with CGI inherently. It only really becomes an issue when it's used as a means of cutting corners. If done properly, CGI can produce effects that are either impossible or prohibitively time-consuming with traditional animation techniques. A good example is when Satoru first jumps back to 1988 in Episode 1. The scene starts with a first-person perspective of Satoru running down the street and you can see that everything's just a little bit off. The houses and mailboxes and street lights are all bigger than they should be. And then we get this beautiful sweeping rotational shot that reveals the face of child Satoru and the elementary school, confirming the time skip. Assuming nothing went horribly wrong in editing, you should be seeing this on screen right now. It's great visual storytelling, and from what I can tell, it definitely looks like it was done in CGI. And the series as a whole loves its visual storytelling. Scenes will become desaturated when there's a reveal that amps up the tension. When characters are upset or stressed, their faces will often be partially or entirely covered by shadows. Hell, my absolute favorite scene in the series is one that contains no spoken dialogue. I can't say any more than that because spoilers. Normally, I prefer visual styles that are big, flashy, and clever like what I saw in Demon Slayer or Darwin's Game, but Erased reigns it in a bit while still managing to consistently impress me. To put it simply, I think Erased is visually incredible. The Bait and Switch Okay, so Erased is most commonly described as a murder mystery and it's kind of amazing how simultaneously accurate and inaccurate that is. Okay, so it is a murder mystery. It's what kicks off the plot, and Satoru very much spends his time trying to stop this serial killer from abducting and murdering Kayo. However, this plotline very quickly takes a backseat and effectively becomes the B-plot for most of the series. And that's because very early on, it's revealed that Kayo is living in a physically abusive household, and Satoru surmises that she was likely targeted because she would regularly isolate herself stalling before she would have to return home. This made her an exceptionally easy target. So the story pivots from uncover the murderer and stop them to be the friend that this girl needs. And then the story almost kind of scales down. For a long time, the antagonist no longer really even feels like it's the killer, but Kayo's mother. While the time is continuously ticking down to Kayo's death, it almost becomes an afterthought because while Erased is technically a murder mystery, it's really more of a story about friendship, loyalty, and trust. And I think that's where a lot of the animosity towards this series comes from. People go in expecting a focused murder mystery and are left disappointed when it's more like a dark slice of life story. Even I went in expecting a targeted murder mystery and the summary blurb really strongly suggested that that's what I was gonna get. Much of the way this series is presented to new and prospective viewers is quite frankly misleading. And while I'm ultimately a huge fan of character focused narratives, I can understand why some people were left disappointed. Erased just wasn't what they were promised it would be. The mystery. So piggybacking on my previous point, while Erased does function more as a slice of life story than a proper mystery story, there is still a mystery. But unfortunately, it's just not very good, and if you're looking for that whodunit experience, you're going to be very disappointed. 
The story spends very little time on actually investigating anything, as Satoru is ultimately more concerned with protecting Kayo over uncovering the killer. So for those of you who like to try to work out the culprit of murder mysteries through all the clues that are presented to you, you're just not going to get any of that. And on top of that, what you do end up getting is laughably simplistic. If you were following me on Twitter when I was doing my first viewing, you'd have seen the mini meltdown I had. See, I'm pretty sure that the writers expected the viewers to figure out who the killer was before the actual reveal. But I still feel like I figured it out way earlier than I was supposed to because there was just nothing that could have possibly led me astray. I had a strong idea of the identity of the killer almost as soon as they were introduced, and leading up to the big reveal, there were a lot of less than subtle hints. In fact, I literally thought it was a red herring because it was just too obvious to me and it was just so disappointing. Now, the manga has 44 chapters compared to the 12 episodes the anime has, so maybe it's done better there, but yeah. Don't get too invested into the actual mystery portion of Erased. It's really all about the character stuff, and if you focus on that, you'll have a much better time. The Experience I'd be doing you all a huge disservice if I failed to discuss what it's like to watch this series on a more visceral level. Erased seemingly has one single-minded goal at all times. Get the viewer to feel things and feel them strongly. This story is a roller coaster of emotions, both positive and negative. Kayo's abuse, the friendship she develops with Satoru and his friend group, the nostalgia of Satoru running into his childhood friends, the anxiety he feels about having to stop this killer while stuck as an 11-year-old boy. Everything this story does is designed to hook you and get you invested in the story of Satoru and Kayo. It wants you to feel joy, sorrow, relief, and regret alongside its cast of characters. And one thing I absolutely have to give the series props for is how much it respects the intelligence of the viewer. Many pieces of media are very afraid of ambiguity or under-the-surface messaging. They don't want to leave anyone behind and will often over-explain the core themes and issues to the point where they lose all impact. In particular, one thing that pisses me off is when characters will outright state their underlying insecurities via dialogue or the protagonist will explain it in a narrative soliloquy. And it happens way more than it should. Show, don't tell sometimes seems like a dying principle. But Erased is incredibly refreshing in that regard. It lets a lot of pretty complex ideas exist and trusts that the viewer will be able to piece things together for themselves. My favorite instance of this is how Satoru, despite having all the memories of a 29-year-old, actually regresses in emotional age when he jumps back in time. So he's not an adult in a child's body, he's actually a child again. And this is never explicitly stated. Not once. Instead, it's all showcased through the story itself. Adult Satoru is somewhat depressed and cynical due to his life not going as he'd like, but when he jumps back in time, he becomes idealistic and motivated because he's no longer lost that childlike outlook on life. Adult Satoru is very methodical and logical in how he interfaces with the world, but he becomes more impulsive and irrational when he goes back in time because he's once again a stupid child, as all children are. And there are several amusing sequences where he'll get flustered or will blush at something Kayo does only to suffer a bout of cognitive dissonance, as his 11-year-old emotions are conflicting with his 29-year-old memories. And it's so well done that I did not at all question it when he would come up with wild and risky plans even though it would make much more sense to simply ask for the help of a trusted adult, which is what he would have done if he were simply just a 29-year-old in an 11-year-old body. This is a fairly complex narrative concept that has a ton of implications for both the characters and the plot, and it's all left up to the viewer to figure out for themselves. And I love that. It allows the show to instead focus on delivering those powerful emotional punches that were my ultimate takeaway for the entire viewing experience. There's a very good reason that I blew through this series in one day and almost immediately felt the desire for a rewatch. If you take nothing else from this video, remember this. Erased was a phenomenal viewing experience for the majority of its runtime, and I honestly would not be against watching it a third time under the right circumstances. The pacing. Yeah, it wouldn't be an ads video if I didn't talk about pacing, now would it? And unfortunately, I do think that Erased is held back by some pacing issues, but it's not as pervasive as it could have been. In fact, I think the first two thirds or so of the series is actually pretty much perfect in terms of pacing. Seriously, I can't even think of anything to criticize as far as pacing goes for most of the series' runtime. However, I do think that once it gets into the latter third of the show, the fact that it's only a 12-episode series really starts to show itself. For starters, it 100% just skipped over at least one story arc, possibly two. Because there are instances where major character progression and plot development is done via a few lines of dialogue, and I would not be surprised if these were holdovers from the manga that got cut due to runtime limitations. And ultimately, I think the choice to focus more on the events of the first two-thirds of the show in more detail at the expense of the cut content was probably a good call. Better to do one thing well than three things poorly. I just think they could have restructured the story a bit so that they didn't even need to include the skipped bits at all because they just feel out of place. And then there's the story's wrap-up. 
I can't go into too many details without spoilers, but once the big emotional Satoru and Kaya arc comes to its conclusion, there still needs to be a conclusion to the actual plot of the story. And I'll go on record as saying that I actually really like the events and plot points that take place at the end of the story. I just think it's rushed. They had to cram it all into just a handful of episodes, and I don't think it really had the satisfying payoff that it was going for. It's kind of a shame, because Erased is an incredibly strong story for most of its runtime, only to choke at the very end. I think these issues would have been resolved, but the creatives were given more runtime to work with. I'd say that a 20 episode run would have been just about perfect. The first 9 or so episodes could stay as they are, and the remaining runtime could be split between the stuff that was skipped and the conclusion. A bit more breathing room would have allowed this show to do what it does best, and I think it would have closed off as strongly as it started out. So overall, what do I think of Erased? Well, ever since my first viewing, I've had the exact same opinion. Erased is a great show that could have been a masterpiece if it weren't for a few significant pitfalls holding it back. It's an amazingly powerful story about friendship and altruism, but the core mystery behind the plot kinda sucks and the pacing fails right at the very end. I still had a very good time with it, but when I finished the final episode, I was left wondering what could have been. So should you watch Erased? I would say yes. Despite its flaws, the majority of this series is just fantastic. As long as you know what you're getting into, that being a character-driven story with minimal mystery elements, I think you'll have a good time. You should watch Erased. Thanks for watching. Big thank you to my patrons, especially my god tier supporters Bulk Squat Thrust, Fatima, and Michael Vitolo. If you'd like to join them to support the channel and get early access to future content, check out Patreon down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe because it actually does help me out. And feel free to leave any suggestions for anime you'd like to see me review in the comments. I do read them all, so I will be taking all suggestions into consideration. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Play the Electro Swing. Hit the phone, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more.